Cancer. Welcome back to my channel. Kim Enchantress here. Now, who is crushing on you, Cancer? I'm using the Enchanted Lenormand cards today. I'm using the Titania Lenormand for clarifiers. One card from the Romance Angels and one from the Lovers Tarot. Now, the first card that's come up for you in the Enchanted Lenormand cards is the Stork. Uh, this can represent Cancer that you are about to start all over again in a new romance, a new start in love, going to the next step or moving on from a, a, a current relationship. This could happen around the 17th of September, it's definitely springtime, the spring equinox, when love blossoms and this could be definitely a renewal in your love life. Now this could be with an Aries person, they're quite um, flexible, they're very adaptable very nurturing and this Aries person is about to bring changes in your life now these changes will be successful cancer and they could be about um, things that happen in public this may be a new friendship in this lifetime so someone you haven't met in this lifetime but this person's a change maker they're a very uh, enterprising person to be around now you also have the garden and you may meet this uh, person in a community, perhaps a gathering where um, people with the same interests go. It could be an event or maybe a conference at work, maybe this person works with you or in your um, networking. They could uh, be on social network or social media, an online group perhaps. Well, you could have a great support network and this person in that support network. Now, this is um, possibly a conference where you receive public success. And it could be a, an online group of friendship people. Now, we have the sun as well. So, it could possibly be a Leo here as well. And I think I've done the Aries reading and I had a Leo partner coming in. Now, this is about um, having a sunny nature. There is uh, something going on where there's a lot of happiness and joy when you meet this person. You will have a successful partnership with this person and they have a positive attitude here, Cancer. They're in a sunny disposition. They see the good in everything, this person, and they are very successful and confident in what they do. And they're possibly in the limelight at this point of time. Now, this person has a lot of success around them. You also have the dog. And sometimes this can represent um, a friend that you know. This person's going to be a great companion for you, Cancer. They're very loyal. They give great support. They're very reliable and faithful. They're going to be a good ally for you when you meet them. And they, they're going to give you a lot of guidance and a lot of advice and this is person that you can really rely on so that's really a beautiful message coming through now with your cards here cancer we have the sun we have the dog and the book so I'll just pick them up if i can so this could be success happening happening in um private I feel like um, with the sun, it's telling me, Cancer, that you possibly have a lot of success in your life as well. And you're going to get a, a great friendship out of this crush and this meeting that you're going to meet this person. You'll probably be happy for this friend success or maybe this is you in um, a friendship group online and you're feeling happy for this person and you even if you don't know them but the sun has come out twice in the reading and so has the dog so this is very important in the reading now this will be a secret joy and happiness that is possibly unknown to you at this moment so this person is not known to you at this stage but you're feeling happy and overwhelmed for this person in your friendship group. 
even if you don't know them. Now, Cancer, possibly someone who has blonde hair and blue eyes. Very good tan on you. Your eyes are very distinctive, so this is something that this person likes about you. You're also a successful individual, and I'm feeling that this relationship was definitely a soulmate connection from the past life. Because you have got the past life card that's come up in this reading. You've known each other before, but perhaps you haven't met in this incarnation. Now, it's telling me also that you are very loyal as well. Here, Cancer, with the dog. And um, I just feel like... Um, You've got this past life connection with this person and you've, you're going to be happy and joyfully um, help this person, guide them and share your knowledge with this person. So this is beautiful. That's coming out of a crush. So definitely have a past life connection here. Uh, I feel like the um, Aries woman or the Leo woman is very tall. They've got a good tan on them as well. They're very... Um, their body is in good proportion and uh, they're very popular in the public eye they're very loyal as well so definitely um, a beautiful relationship coming into your life now from the lovers tarot to end this reading we have the sun and it's and the sun's come up three times in this reading so this is something that's going to be so over the moon for you here cancer this is the time of optimism for you it's um, about joy and energy that's lying ahead. Now, when you get together, you could even have a child on the way in the near future. As uh, Your Aries friend will make a great mother. She's very nurturing. Now, happy times with close friends and lovers are indicated by this card. Your social life's going to pick up, especially after we've all been in isolation. And you're going to have... Um, a warm and pleasurable experience and financially you're going to be expanding soon too so maybe this is you guys coming together expanding on your expertise and knowledge and making your own business up so definitely um you've got a lot of uh success coming your way and happiness so that's beautiful for you cancer i wish you all the best um, I do feel like it's going to be around the 17th of September. It's definitely when love starts blooming in springtime and you're going to know this person by their eyes. So definitely uh, someone you've known in the past incarnation. So beautiful. That's just crushing on your cancer. All the best. Bye for now.